as you as you all know, it's 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 October. It's it's fall. It's it's spooky season, as we like to say. So of course I have to be playing something spooky. Um, my choice this year is the newly released Faith: The Unholy Trinity. Developed by Airdorf Games, Faith is a classic 8-bit style horror game where you play as John Ward as he returns to the home of the Martin family a year later after an exorcism went terribly wrong with their daughter Amy to finish what he started. Uh, you guide John through the woods. So, this is a little spoilery just so you know, but it's short. I'll get into why. You guide John through the woods surrounding the Martin house, uncovering notes that fill in the backstory while avoiding another possessed human named Michael, before finally reaching the dilapidated house and finishing the exorcism. Uh, from this point, you have a number of different endings you can choose from that I won't get into for spoilery stuff, even though I said I was getting into spoilery stuff, but the reason is uh, this is only chapter one. It's div it's it's divided up into three chapters. This is only chapter one because this is the only one I've had time to really get into. Um, I've done just two of the endings so far. Um, one of which is kind of a complaint, but I but I can't really complain because it's sort of by design. So I did the first playthrough blind of course because that's how you're kind of supposed to play games on a first run you're supposed to play through it blind not using any guides or anything because that's not very fun um but once i get that first ending i'm like okay i'll go figure out how to do the other endings and get all the notes and stuff and i realized well we have you once i once you play through that first that that first run you unlock two modes flashlight mode and lantern mode Pretty self-explanatory. Um, they just, both modes just, just hinder your visibility. Flashlight mode makes it so that the only thing visible is a small cone of light in front of you. Um, this is not bad necessarily, but it's annoying when I'm trying to go around finding all the notes, one of which involves having to um, get get Michael, one of the demons, away from you, and you can't really see where he's coming from. <laughs> uh, the second of which, uh, the, the, la the very last note to get in the game requires you finding the secret optional boss, and I didn't find that in my first playthrough, so I'm going through this blind in flashlight mode, and I have no idea how this boss works. I didn't really have a whole lot of fun with it, um, because of that. So maybe I should have done it on a, on a, on a, just a vanilla playthrough, but that's on me. That's on me for trying to be a completionist on a, on a game like this. Um, but other than that, it's really fun. It's, it's got a great visual style, that 8-bit, you, you think it wouldn't be very scary, but it actually is. Uh, just, you know, it's just, uh, just like 10 pixels for, um, the demon Michael. And he comes out. He comes off the screen screaming in that you know garbled, you know uh, Microsoft Sam esque voice. It's very terrifying. Um, I can see why when Chapter One first released on Itch.io a couple of years ago, it was like a big hit on like you know Let's Play channels and stuff. And it's really it's a really simple game. Like it's it's incredibly simple yet effective. The only thing you do aside from walk around is just hold up your cross, your crucifix, to do damage to enemies and also get notes. That's the only button to press other than movement. That's how simple this game is, but it's ridiculously effective. I, it's, I can't say, I, I, you know, I, I, I can't say enough because again, I've only played one third of the game and that's not even, I don't even think that is accurate because from what I've heard, chapter two is twice the length of chapter one and chapter three is twice the length of chapter two. So I, I barely even scratched the surface with it. Um, that being said, because I don't want to be too presumptuous with it, um, I'm going to give Faith the Unholy Trinity an 8 out of 10. Go check it out.